Welcome back to Boost Your Brain Power. I am your host, Dr. Eric Kaplan. So we're talking about the good habits to get into starting this new year. The first section we spoke about getting rid of or really significantly decreasing dairy products. Dairy is the worst thing you could put into your body. Number one, it causes autoimmune disease. It's even been linked to Parkinson's disease, causes brain inflammation, digestive problems, lung problems, cholesterol issues, diabetes, obesity. I mean, it's literally the worst thing you could put in your body. That's how significant it is. And that's why I'm stressing dairy products are the worst thing you could put into your body. And nutrition is super important for your health and your well being. The second most important thing for your health and well being is exercise. And we live a very sedentary lifestyle these days. Luckily, I have a job where I'm not sitting, I'm literally going from room to room. I'm moving around, I'm going around the patients. I'm, I'm never at a desk on a computer unless I'm doing some notes, which is very quick. I'm doing even just a recording like this is the only time I'll sit down. But even my lectures, most of the time I'm standing. Um, when I am a professor, I'm always standing in front of the class. When I teach at the different health conventions, I'm always standing. That gives you energy. All right. The worst thing is sitting. Sitting is considered the new smoking. Harvard actually came out with a study that proved sitting will kill you quicker. So what I recommend for my patients is the 20 rule. Every 20 minutes, you get up for 20 seconds. You walk 20 feet. You also look 20 feet away for your eyes and your brain. You don't want to just be staring at this two-dimensional screen. So that's the 20 rule. Every 20 minutes, you get up for 20 seconds, you walk 20 feet, you look 20 feet. Or to switch things up, you could sit up and down for 20 seconds. You could do 20 seconds of jumping jacks. You could do 20 seconds of push-ups. You could do 20 seconds of sit-ups. You could do 20 seconds of lunges. It doesn't just have to be a 20-second walk. Just something active. Get your butt out of that chair and do something for 20 seconds. Set an alarm on your phone so it vibrates. Get a uh, cooking timer that beeps. Get a computer to go off so something pops up on your screen. Whatever you need to do. Because you're not going to remember to get up every 20 minutes. So you got to do a reminder there. Because sitting is the worst thing. You have to get your body moving. You cannot, you know, get out of bed in the morning, sit and eat breakfast, sit in your car, drive to work, or sitting on the bus or the train to commute to work, then sit at the computer all day at work, then come home, sit down, eat dinner. And sit on the couch and watch TV or Netflix. And sit in the living room and scroll on your phone. And then go to bed. And if you're social, you're going to sit at a three-hour movie and watch Avatar. Or you're going to sit at a Broadway play. Or you're going to sit at the bar. Or you're going to go out to dinner and sit at the restaurant. You're going to sit at the, uh, you know, maybe if you go to a concert you're going to get up and dance. That's a better thing to do. You know, so you always want to choose activities that will get you off your butt. You know, I like to play basketball and I like to play soccer and tennis. And yes, I like to go to concerts where I'm going to be dancing. And, you know, I like to go to Orange Theory, which is like a fitness class. I like to go to the gym. I like to go bike riding. I like to go hiking outside in nature. I like to go swimming. I like to go snowboarding. I like to do activities that keep my body moving. That is the key. 
to keep your body moving. You got to get out of your butt. Stop sitting for so long. If you are sitting and watching, you know, the football game, you get up at every commercial and you move. You know, you have to make healthy decisions this year. Remember what we said before, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Don't wait till you get a stroke or a heart attack or you have high blood pressure to start working on your health. Start doing it now. And it doesn't have to be drastic. Decrease some of your dairy products. Get out of that chair a little bit more frequently. These are vital to your health and your well-being. You have to move your body. You use it or you lose it. Start doing some push-ups. People who are able to do 40 push-ups in a day are about 95% less likely to get a heart attack or a stroke versus someone who can't do 10 push-ups. You don't need any equipment. You don't need to buy a gym membership. You just need your own body to start doing some push-ups. It's not that hard. Just try. My son, he's eight years old. He finally is doing normal push-ups. He's been trying for three years since he's been five years old, because he saw his brother do push-ups, he sees his daddy do push-ups all the time. So he keeps trying and trying, trying, tried for three years, five years old, couldn't do it, six years old, couldn't do it, seven years old, couldn't do it. But finally, at eight years old, he's able to do push-up. Then now he can do two push-ups, and then he's going to do three push-ups. And, and that's how it works. You know, when I started running, I used to never like running. But when they closed the gym after COVID, I was like, okay, I got to start running. My first day, I just ran to the end of the block. That was it. It took me 10 seconds. My second day, I ran around this little triangle that I have in my neighborhood, which is about a quarter of a mile. It's like one uh, walk around the track in a high school. And then I did two laps around the triangle, which is a half a mile. And then I did three laps and then I did four laps. Every day I added an extra lap. And it was, it was very easy when you do it that way. And then I went from one mile to two mile, three mile. But you just start going to the end of the block. It doesn't have to be complicated. You just got to start somewhere and start making progress. The key to health and happiness is progress. You just have to make a little bit of progress. Just be better in January than you are in December. Don't beat yourself over, you know, we're eating so much junk food over the holidays or we're drinking too much or partying too much or eating too much cheese or bread. Or It's okay. What's done is done. Doesn't help you to stress over. Just do better today than you did yesterday. Just make some progress. And when you make progress, you'll feel better about yourself. When you get up to that first mile, it's like, oh, yeah, I did a mile. When you get up to that first 10 push-ups, hey, I did 10 push-ups. Put a goal, whatever it is, to do pull-ups, push-ups. You know, like I say, you don't need anything fancy. You can use your own body weight. You can do 10 sit-ups. But get your body moving. Get up every 20 minutes, the 20 rule. Every 20 minutes, you get up for 20 seconds, you walk 20 feet, and you look 20 feet away. You've got to protect those eyes. We can't be looking at our cell phones and our iPads and the TVs and the computers and all these flat screens. It's very bad for your eyes. Kids with their video games, we have to do eye exercises. You could uh, get what's called Brock String. Order it on Amazon if you want. These are eye exercises you do near far to look at things closer and further your eyes are have muscles that can improve you know my vision improves every year from doing these eye exercises and it started with brock string exercises but it's basically just looking close looking medium looking far 
these two-dimensional screens are very bad for our eyes and very bad for our brains. Okay, so we're going to start off the new year decreasing dairy products and milk products, increasing exercise and movement, decreasing your sedentary lifestyle, getting up every 20 minutes. And then you're going to also do some eye exercises. Just like you're going to strengthen your muscles, start to strengthen your eyes. You can improve your health. You can improve your energy. You can improve your vision. You can improve your strength. You can get out of pain. You can sleep better and digest better if you do the right things. We will continue this conversation next time.